<clears throat> you know, I haven't done this in a while. It's been over a month, in fact, I think closer to two months, and it's been difficult to figure out how to start again. So in the words of my friend who pushed me to get into content creation, I suppose I just need to start. And to do that, I guess I'll do it in the only way I know how. Hey everybody, it's your buddy Beard Grizzly, and today I wanted to finally talk to you guys about my experience with GuardianCon, Gambit, and a general what's up to those who might be wondering what is in fact up. My major point of taking time away has been to clear up my mind a bit and stay away from the scene since it's my first break I've really taken since I've started, and see where I wanted to head. It just so happened that my break lined up with Guardian Con, and it was a nice cap to it to motivate me to get back into things. For the most part, anyway. Guardian Con as a whole was a great experience. It was nice to meet up with those I saw last year in Florida before, but it was different this year. This year, I was given a special guest pass, and though that doesn't mean a great deal, it was nice to at least be recognized as someone that meant something to the community. It was a nice ego boost, I guess you could say. To be able to be on a panel alongside Bife and members of both Focus Fire Chat and Ishtar Collective was also a great feeling, more so just to be around friends in a space where we could bring up topics that are important to this community as a whole. It was fun, as well as informative for myself, to see where and how a group of the community might react to what I talk about in the moment. It's different for me as a YouTube creator to see reactions right away instead of after I'm done making content. That privilege is usually reserved to streamers. The panel was the bulk of my first day, really, since after the hour and a half that we were given there, we had a long meet and greet that lasted for nearly two hours. Where most of the con otherwise, I had a chance to meet up with fellow creators and some others that were fans out on the showroom floor, the meet and greet was largely where I was able to talk with some of you and really get a chance to meet up and really just break down and, and have good conversations with you all again. It was a it was a nice feeling. It was different. That's the first time that's been able to happen for me face to face, and it's a different experience than over comments or Twitter or Discord. Not to say that the interactions online aren't meaningful, but I think we can all agree that there's always something different about face-to-face -face interaction. That's why I'm really happy that conventions are a thing. Just proves to me I need to get out to more of them. And beyond all of you that I was able to meet, I got to meet others that I've only been able to really talk to over voice chat or text beforehand or that I've collaborated with, confided in, or have given an ear to me over the past year. The one that really stands out is the Gamma Trap, since he and I have a bit of history together. I hung around most of Artist Alley since the creativity around there was just infectious. Still, the goal of the con was being there for the kids and making sure it was an event to remember. And it sure was. I didn't have anything to offer this year except for my signature on a few things for St. Jude and just helped to build hype where I could. It was an exhausting event, but a good one. It took me several days to really come back from it. Heck, I'm still not sure I'm really back from it with how much energy I ended up pumping into that. By the end tally, it sounds like Guardian Con raised over 2.7 million US dollars, and that gives enough to the nonprofit in order to run the hospital for a day. Yes, just one day. For all we know, however, that one day could make the difference in aiding a group of kids or possibly having to cut back on staff for a day or not be able to run a procedure until another time with funds available. The point is that it was a lot of outpouring from the community, and it proves further what Destiny has sparked and started as a whole, since that's where it all really began. It seemed to be something not mentioned by the organizers, so I wanted to put it out there. The show may have evolved, but yeah, I won't harp on this. I think you guys get it. And yet, as much as it was amazing to be around some of the most creative people I've ever met in my life, I still just have this feeling of not being able to stand around them or be able to hold a candle to them. 
It was a humbling experience to see those around me that are excited to want to talk to me, to ask me questions that I love to answer and interact with you guys with on a, on a typical basis, on even a daily basis. It was an amazing experience that I don't want to undermine. Part of my issue the last month has been my own self-doubt. Granted, outside of taking a break, I haven't had a lot of time for myself. It's been filled with work, a family business, and load cells. In the meantime, I've at least been expanding on my journals in some moments that I do have free time and still been attending podcasts when I'm able. But right now, I certainly feel like I need to do more. But enough of that. I also promised some Gambit impressions. I didn't personally have a chance to get into the line and play the game mode myself, but I already know how Destiny plays. Rather well, I'd like to think. Watching the game mode play itself out and see the reactions behind it, that was more what I was anxious to see to begin with. Besides, I didn't have the Warlock classes there that I wanted to play with, but it was cool to see the Dawncaller working. Obviously, getting used to the new supers and having little time to really play with them, there was a lot of clunky gameplay. But it was fun to watch everybody be clunky and have to get used to something new. The only thing that looked to be a challenge to really get used to, however, is the arc that happens from the new Striker Titan. But hot damn, you could travel the entire map if you were given the right position. It places you in a spot different from the rest, and I'm anxious to see how it carries over into Forsaken once it's released. The lines were long for Gambit, the wait almost maddening for some. In fact, it was the longest line that the convention had. But the moment they got into the game and started to play, faces lit up and they pretty well all said the same thing, especially after I was able to hang around the line for a little while. They had fun, they enjoyed it, and they feel like it's more what they'd like to see from Destiny as a whole. Obviously, I'm happy to hear this. Not because it keeps the channel going, no no, because people can enjoy the game that I've started to enjoy quite a lot more since Warmind dropped, and hopefully it will continue as the months go by. Gambit will add a new layer to the game world, since it's a new mode, of course, but it may also add in a few different layers past just this one. I'm anxious for that, and hope that others feel the good times that those in the line have the chance to play and share the experience with others. Then again, it also reminds me how much I miss LAN parties, because that was such a nice blast from the past, seeing all those machines hooked together and having everybody just look at each other like, yeah, I'm gonna get you. Anyway, it was just a really fun experience. So another Guardian Con is here and done for the year. Now it's time to start thinking about next year and start thinking about what else I can do for not only this community, but for everything as a whole, for Destiny as a whole, for other communities that we have branched out into, for the con and for other things as well. It also seems a daunting and tricky task to expand further than just myself in this little corner of the internet that I have. Truth be told, I'm not sure where to start outside of just networking with more individuals and reaching out to others in a hope of growing. Not just as an individual, not just as a creator. Hopefully to become a little something more while retaining my individuality. What does that mean as a whole? Well, hopefully it will mean starting to stream once in a while, since I've wanted to try to get back into that a little bit more. Even if just once a week, and maybe not even game streaming, but something entirely different. Hopefully it will also mean that I can get one video out per week, or at least to start with, but my hope is to ramp that up as time goes by, especially as we get further into Forsaken and slowly start to climb up into that grind of new information we're going to have and see what comes from it. I mean, geez, all the stuff we already have and Forsaken's not even out yet with Whisper the Worm, the ship, and several other things. Oh my goodness, I am so excited to start digging into some of that. Now is the time for us to really hunker down and look into this world that we love further than I could imagine otherwise. It'll be a collective effort of all of my content styles, plus adding in a few others as we go along. At least, that's the hope. I know that I can sometimes set my sights on something, but fall short on it. I know I'm behind on several things, like a new intro, for instance. 
I suppose I've also gotten attached to it the more and more that I look into making something new. At least for now. We'll see what the future holds with design work later on for the channel or otherwise. I'm working to become a better human being, as much as I am a creator is the gist of all of this. It starts by starting this up again, and by connecting back with all of you who have given me so much. I owe you a lot, whether you want to think of it that way or not. I truly do. Ultimately, with my rambling as I am, I just hope to be more prevalent within the community as a whole. That's not going to mean me getting along with everyone. It'll just mean that I need to be more active, hearing more points of view, being more dedicated to this craft that I've been working on for about a year and a half fairly consistently. The break was nice, but it's time to get back to work. It's time to dust off the books and tomes, open up the windows, and let air into the library again. We'll talk again soon, Guardians. See you next space time. Take care.